What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive vlogs at day number 1355 coming at you. Hope you're all doing well out there. Uh, if you deliver for any of the apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay informed with what's going on in the gig economy. Get started right now by hitting that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So let's jump into the email. Thornton Mellon, Triple Lindy style. Here we go. So this person asked to remain anonymous, all right? And this should be a bit of an eye-opener for some. So he goes, hey, boss, I was wondering if you might do a video on some hard truths to think about with gig work in general. I'm a business owner and owned a trucking company for 10 years. I got out of that and do DoorDash now full time because the trucking industry isn't what it used to be. And I make good money with a lot less stress and headaches. So obviously this person is a, is a hard worker, you know? Everyone complains about the pay with gig companies, DoorDash in particular, and wants these companies to have pay to have to pay at least minimum wage with something along the lines of Prop 22 in California. What people don't realize about this is that, is that if this happens, then we will no longer be independent contractors and we will be employees instead. If and when that happens, then all gig companies can set a minimum acceptance rate. That means no more cherry picking no more declining any orders. The gig companies will make it so you have to accept every order regardless of whether it tips or not. Once that happens, then two things will eventually trickle into effect. Customers will realize that their orders will be delivered no matter what and stop tipping. Uh, which, And then number two, which will lead to the death of the gig economy altogether. DoorDash used to have the best pay model and it was easy to keep your acceptance rate high at numbers when they had a $7 minimum on all orders. It's been a long time since the $7 minimum. Yes, they supplemented that part that with part of the tip when the tip was high, but at least they paid decent on even the no tip orders and it wasn't them keeping the tips to put on the other orders. You still got the full tip on that order and they just lowered the base pay. Well, everyone complained about that and even sued DoorDash over it. Then it went to a $3 base pay. Still, people kept complaining and complaining and complaining. Now we're at a $2 base pay for, the, for most orders and still people are complaining. DoorDash can legally take base pay away completely with us being 1099 independent contractors. And then we work strictly for commission, tips only. Just wanted to point out that the more people complain and raise hell, the worse things get for everyone. People seem to have short memories and forget that things can and will always get worse than they are. Please don't share my name. Hope this is something that will interest you. You seem like you play fair to both sides. So to the anonymous person who wrote this, um, <coughs> I do agree that, you know, a lot of drivers do want that minimum wage, which really is an employee mindset. Uh, I do try to, I do, I do try to play fair to both sides because both sides have pros and cons. Both sides have good points and both sides have bad points. Um, the $7 minimum was a very long time ago. Um, but it does seem that nowadays some drivers, some dashers are making more money than they were back then. One thing that I have said in many videos and will continue to say in even more videos is that every market is different. Well, Pete, you always say that. It's the truth. What works in my market may not work in yours. John, in this state, let's say uh, Kansas or something, might not be making a lot of money, but Bill in Florida is killing it. Same day, same time. Okay, why is that? There's a lot of factors involved. The restaurants, how long the restaurants take to make the orders, the kinds of clientele you have, the level of income of people, you know, who's tipping higher, who's not tipping at all. Okay, what kinds of restaurants you're picking up in, from in general, fast food places, or places that are more sit-down restaurants that have takeout. There are so many 
variables, so many different factors involved that a lot of people don't take into consideration. They just say, oh, the base pay, I'm not making money. But then why is it that so-and-so in the same market is doing well? You know, the fact of the matter is this, you need to find a way to make things work in your market. I say give the gig economy six months if you're brand new. Try your hardest, educate yourself, watch these YouTube videos, get on Facebook and check out the groups. Although a lot of them tend to be toxic, but you can learn a lot from others. Talk to other drivers when you're waiting for orders and, and get tips and tricks from them. That's what I did when I first started. I made a lot of money. In the very the beginning, I'm telling you, you know, I was bringing home in the early days, I was bringing home probably eight to $900 plus a week, you know, and it just, you can make a lot of money doing this work. You really, really can. But at the end of the day, does it work for you? You know, like UDM said in that video not too long ago, uh, you know, you gotta try and see if this works for you. If not, a W-2 job lifestyle may be better fit for you. It's This is not for everybody. Independent contractor work is not for everybody. And I think that's what this, this email really brings up. That the ones that complain or raise concerns or whatever, uh, maybe it's not best fit for them, I, I guess, you know? Um, and being grateful is very important as well, like I've said. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, we do want these companies to treat us fairly. And I'm hoping at some point we can all come to a happy medium. It's food for thought, wishful thinking, but we'll see what happens. So on that note, everybody, if you guys ever want to send me anything, send me an email at paytodrivestories at gmail.com, just like this person did. Or for a quicker response, you can message me on the Patreon app or at patreon.com slash paid to drive. The link is in the description or in the pinned top comment. Um, also as a perk, I will give you shout outs in all my new videos. So when you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So links in uh, the description if you want to sign up or the pin top comment. And of course, guys, please make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free gas app for your smartphone to save money every time you pump at the gas pump. So download it, link in the description on your smartphone. Any smartphone will do. Uh, all you do is go to the gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. The link's in the description. Make sure to download it. And of course, if you want to get one of these shirts or any others like it, comment 111 if you smash the like. That's right. Hit that like button. You could do so at paytodrivestore.com. Everything's on sale. Lots of different designs, lots of different colors and all different sizes. Paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 106, E-N-D 106. Subscribe with all notifications on. Hit that like button down below, of course. And uh, well, hit the notification bell. And of course, hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Have a good one, guys. Drive safe and be well.